Good evening everyone, CJ Peaceful. I just wanted to show you a few things that I've been working on. Um, a couple of them I know I've mentioned before in other videos. What I've got here in front of me is uh, a cell that I had worked on for a couple of weeks. Um, I think I was referring to it as a, a W design or W shape cell. Um, the reason why I called it that uh, simply because of the uh, the visual presence it gives when you're looking at it um, sort of straight on as we're seeing here on the side. Basically uh, what I mean by W is I took some spacers uh, I think I measured approximately a sixteenth of an inch thick and I would put two at the top and one at the bottom of course that naturally created a you know kind of like a, a V shape if you will of the cell and I, I think some of the idea behind this is again mentioned before is it helps uh, with the flow of the, the, the currents the thermal currents and, and you got to remember water is, is, is like it's like air your, your warmer water is going to rise and stay towards the top and your cooler, cooler water is going to stay at the bottom and, and with the design kind of like a V or W what that allows is you it allows you to have tight spacing in a particular section of your cell which as we all know um, the tighter the spacing is to a point uh, the more production we can get out of it. But with the disadvantage of being, uh, it creates, or could create, a, uh, a potential amount of heat, which I've stated before, is, I, I think I think that's really a, a, a big loss. Um, I, there's a lot of things we can do to alleviate that problem. I know others have, have been addressing it quite, quite well lately. But with the V design, it allows you, it sort of takes into account um, the two factors, the uh, a good production uh, because of the tight spacing and uh, at the bottom and a larger gap towards the top of the cell which allows the water to cycle through the cell quicker which keeps the water relatively at a lower temperature. Um, you're, not, you're not creating as much heat and you're, you're, not, you're not generating as much amps. Um, but still keeping, uh, you're still producing quite well. Um, the amount of hydrogen and oxygen gas out of the cell. Uh, <clears throat> but what I did is I thought, well, I started thinking about that. I thought, well, you know, I, I think what you can do is you can take that design and kind of and, and change it up a bit and incorporate multiple Vs, if you will, to the point where you have, and I, I go back to my previous video, you, you sort of have a, you start out with uh, two plates at the top, you know, pretty close together, and they get, they kind of taper down and kind of get wider at the bottom. And you do the same sort of a mirror image on the other side except for then you flip it over so basically you you kind of created this W effect if you will and what that does is it allows you to create even more gas uh, versus a standard V-shaped uh, V-shaped cell because you have more surface area that's closer together yet you're also allowing uh, uh, a good sizable gap between the plates where the current would flow natural flow. Um, I still think that's a very valid design. I, I think I think someone other than myself <laughs> who's got a little bit more knowledge and a little bit more uh, constructability, if you will, uh, aptitude could probably take it much further than I did and, and create a really, really nice cell. Um, I'm not totally abandoning that idea, but what I thought I wanted to do, or I thought I would do rather, is take that cell apart. And I tell you, I've had a lot of comments about this plate gap theory. And um, I thought, well, you know, it's a, I think it's a decent theory. Um, I think my equation is, is pretty solid. Um, I, I, I'm not 100% 
confidence, if you will, in its in it, in the totality of the equation. I think there needs some more refining, as I've said before. But I thought, well, let's take what I've got so far and apply it to a cell. So that's that's basically what I did here. Um, I took my equation, punched in the numbers, and based on the plates I had, uh, the plate gapping I I, I wanted to see. Um, this square uh, inches and the voltage that I was going to uh, apply uh, to the cell. Uh, punch those in and this is what I came up with. Uh, you'll notice though that I sort of added a few things to it. Um, I, I keep hearing a lot about uh, voltage leakage or current leakage if you will. and I understand the principles behind it. Um, I understand the reasoning behind it. And I think I understand, of course, the, the logic behind it. Um, so what I went ahead and did was I took the cell after I built it and I thought, you know, let, let's, let's kind of dab a little bit with this, with this uh, isolation method. Uh, maybe try to address some of these issues of current leakage. We're really trying to focus the energy, if you will, um, into a specific point. And I think that's really the goal of what you're trying to do when, whenever you're, 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 uh, you're isolating a cell such as I did. Um, or insulating a cell. Right? So what I did here was uh, I took some acrylic. And, I, and it, before I go any further, I want to say that... Uh, one of these plates, this one here actually, you see this little black dot, maybe you can in the video, I'm not sure if you can or not, but that's what's left of the paint that I tried previously. Um, the paint actually did work very well, and I apologize, I, I, I meant to do an update before I went and sanded this all down, but the paint stuck really well, um, but, it, but it only stuck well um, after I roughed up this, this plate quite well. Um, I used a number six, 60 grit uh, sandpaper and took out the orbital sander and roughed it up pretty well. And then I went back, cleaned it with alcohol, rubbed it down, then then painted it, painted two coats of it. And the duplicolor dupli color paint did it did stick quite well. Um, I did leave it, let it soak overnight, running. And there were a few flakes, but I think that was mainly after looking at it and and and, and really inspecting it thoroughly. Um, uh, I think that was more of my mistake because the where I, I, I originally had painted it and laid it down, and I think I just kind of got some some oil on or whatnot, so it wouldn't it wouldn't stick in that area. But other than that, I think the paint worked really well, and I did some more research on actually uh, uh, coating uh, stainless, and uh, it, it can be done, but it, it's time consuming, and um, <clears throat> and you really have to really pay attention to what you're doing. Um, it's every every piece of literature I've seen. They recommend a, a, a primer, of course, and I think that's true with with any painting application. But especially with stainless, because it is a very dense material, uh, so it's not very porous, and so it's 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 more difficult for the paint to adhere to the, the material. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to tell you that that, that did work out well. Um, actually, I may actually I may go back to that. Um, but uh, for now, I went ahead and made this acrylic case for it. Um, these plates are not glued in the acrylic case. Uh, basically, I constructed the cell as I traditionally have been doing, and then I built the case around it and just glued the edges. Uh, so the, the, there may be some glue along the edges and the corners where the, it seeped through, but uh, basically these, these, there's two different... Uh, um, two different parts to this cell. You know, there's the actual uh, stainless steel plates themselves with nylon rods and then the uh, acrylic case over top of it. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do some testing on it and uh, maybe the next couple of videos I'll post uh, some of the results here. But uh, just kind of wanted to show you um, sort of the direction I think I'm heading with. Heading, heading towards with uh, trying to address some of this, uh, this voltage leak, this uh, current leakage that, uh, that is out there.
And to say it's not, um, I get to understand how you can say it, it's, it's not a problem. But, uh, anyway, thanks for watching.